Hello guys, welcome to Knowledge Pond YouTube channel. In this video, I would like to share HR interview questions and answers for experienced guys. Uh, this is the video two of HR interview questions and answers video series. In this video, I would like to share very commonly, regularly asked HR interview questions and answers for experienced professionals. So let me start with very regular and a common question. Can you please tell me about yourself? The answer would be first start with wishes like um, hi, well, good morning or good afternoon or good evening. Uh, let me start with my educational background. I graduated BE from JNT University in computer science and I did my post graduation MTech from JNT University in computer science. Uh, coming to my IT experience, I have total six plus years of IT experience. I started my IT career from ERC Texas INC as IT trainer. And uh, there I associated around three years. Now I'm working for Value Tech INC from last three years, five months as a senior software engineer. The next question would be, could you please tell me your greatest strengths? My strengths are I am very cool minded and a very stable person. I like to take up new challenges so that I spend most of my time to explore and find new in technologies. So I am really good at technical side. Also, I am good at taking right decisions at right time, even in very critical situation or even stressful situation. The next question would be, could you please tell me your greatest weakness? As a human, I have minor weaknesses. At personal level, I am little sensitive. I trust, help and spend time with people. Sometimes people are misusing my help and time. So I'm working out right now to overcome that problem. Apart from that, I little weak at communication. Right now, I'm working out to improve my communication and soft skills. The next question would be, what are your personal interests and hobbies outside of your current work? My personal interests are, I love traveling and meet, spend time with friends and family members. Also, I do enjoy playing computer games and puzzles. Apart from that, I do watch Hollywood science fiction movies on my free time. The next question would be, can you please tell me about your previous job experience? In my previous organization, I learned many things and also learned many lessons. Because it was my first organization, I had a lot of scope to learn. So I learned how to take up new challenges and how to think systematic manner. Now here I'm working past three and a half years. Here I'm learning many things like how to lead the team, how to manage the time, how to conduct and drive the business meetings. So overall, I can say that I have learned and learning many skills in my personal level and professional aspects. The next question would be, are there any time you went beyond your current job? In case if you saw, like how did you handle that to take up new challenges? In my current organization, I have been part of three years, five months. And last year we got uh, one new project then my managers asked me to take up that responsibility because I'm so proactive to take up the new challenges, understanding the new technologies. So I took that responsibility and I prepared POCs and presented to users successfully within a time limit. Users and clients were so happy with my output. Due to that, today we received many projects from the same client. So the business got improved a lot to the organization and I felt so happy because I was in part of adding business and values to the organization. At the same time, I got good appreciation and a good bonus. It was great honor. 
what have you learned from mistakes on the job i learned so many lessons from my mistakes i learned time management and plan and proper planning the tasks and things i also learned how to analyze and understanding the requirements i also learned how to control balance any awkward tense stressful situation now i am able to manage any stress in workplaces so what role do you tend to play in a team or tell me about your working style i tend to play any roles which are assigned to me apart from that i worked as a developer designer and even sometimes i led the team as well i also good at driving business meetings i also good at uh, motivating the team members so i can say that i would give 100% best from my side whatever role is been assigned on me the next question would be how is your ideal boss what qualities uh, do you expect do you like to be your, your boss uh, my answer would be like uh, i'm not a right person how others uh, would be or should be but uh, as you are asking so i'm just giving how managers would be it is really nice and have a healthy environment if managers are good attitude to easily mingle with team members in uh, each level as a friendly and also good if managers are transparent in all transactions and also nice and good if managers are able to understand and respect to the team members the next question would be tell me about a situation when your decisions was challenged or criticized by manager i do not find and i don't remember of any high criticism on my work so far as a human doing mistakes are very common so i might have done some mistakes and in general mistakes made us like opportunity to correct us but i like and respect to take others feedback and comments in very positively on my mistakes so and at the same time i try to improve myself for not doing or repeat the same mistakes again and again the next question would be how do you feel about reporting to a anger person i don't mind to report to an anger person and moreover uh, there is no problem working with a person uh, anger than me because we should not judge anybody based on their age and years of experience but rather we should understand and judge based on the skills and intelligence the next question would be could you please tell me how do you handle pressure or stressful situations uh, initial days of my career as others i also felt a lot of pressure in this field since i was new to industry after uh, working these many years now i understand uh, that pressures are integral part of any job whether it is in hard or even soft jobs as well and uh, coming to myself is yes, i can uh, work under pressure but in some situations we cannot stop pressures which may cause or coming from different sources so once we passes by we always again experience to improve ourselves to manage uh, every situation but i'll definitely do my best from my side to avoid any kind of pressures the next question would be have you ever felt being overloaded with work how did you deal with it if in case if you overloaded yes of course i overloaded several times at project dead deadlines the maximum i'll try to avoid being overloaded so i do plan and prioritize the things which are on me to avoid any overloaded situations in early stages the next question would be how would you know you are a successful on this job generally i take up any new job based on my interest so i love and i like my work completely and enjoy a lot while doing the work so consequently i feel so happy so as long as i feel happy with my jobs i feel i am in successful and and success so now i can say that i am successful in this field the next question would be can you work independently generally i would like to work as a team and i am a good team player but if i am required to work independently 
as for the project requirement i will definitely open and flexible so i would like to work and enjoy both independently and team member as well the next question would be explain how would be an asset to this organization as for my knowledge the growth of any organization it depends on the collective work and collective effort i improve my knowledge regularly to become the leader in this field so i will dedicate my work and try to give best from my side to add values to this organizational growth and so definitely i can say that i'll be part of this organization on long term so and i'll be a good asset to this organization the next question would be do you have any special skills that would help to this job yes i am pretty good at uh, advanced technologies apart from that i am also good at uh, designing and architecturing the projects i am also so proactive to take up any new challenges and i love to work new technologies and i also good at problem solving and troubleshoot the problem in a very short manner and i also have a good team leading skills and organizational and motivational skills the next question would be how do you improve your knowledge <clears throat> i can improve my knowledge by keep visiting blogs and uh, technical articles and technical videos i do also write technological like technical blogs on new technologies <clears throat> how do you evaluate your own performance generally i will evaluate my self periodically to check my technical standards and uh, when compete with market standards like um, if i really see a problem with my own performance i'll try to find out the root cause of the problem and i'll go through all situations where i am in lack and i try to work on each of them to compete with so the next question would be why should i hire you from outside when i could promote someone from within current organization yes of course uh, you are right to promote someone from your organization but sometimes you need to give opportunity to outside because your current employer can see the only current perspective like present aspect of aspect of the business uh, from within your organization but as an outsider we can see various aspects from outside with fresh thoughts and fresh ideas that would help lot to on new business the next question would be why do you choose this job yes good question <clears throat> i was looking for change better prospects at the same time i have seen your openings and i also have gone through your job description so it was exactly matches to my desired job and also apart from that job description i also gone through your organization profile which also matches my desired organization so i like job and the company profile so i applied for this opening the next question would be could you describe your ideal job my ideal job would be more challenging and should have scope to learn and experiment and freedom to express new ideas the next question would be where do you see yourself being in 3 to 5 years from now on yeah definitely i can see myself as being a responsible person in this organization having a right roles and responsibility so i can say that i'll be associating this organization long term and i will be good asset to this organization i'm sure that this organization can provide and offer me such a growth and opportunities to me the next question would be what is the reason that you have stayed in your current job for a quite a long time yes you are right i have been working here from last 3 and 1/2 years but uh, i am continuously growing both personal and professional <clears throat> learning new things and doing responsible and bigger challenges and implementing the new ideas uh, because of all these i am quite happy working here for uh, this many years 
the next question would be why are you leaving your present job and why are you looking for other opportunity yeah i have been working here past three and a half years but i am continuously growing as i told you earlier both personal and professional uh, learning new things and doing a responsible and bigger challenges and implementing the new ideas i'm so happy with the technical growth but i'm little disappointed with the salary due to my initial package so i'm looking for a salary collection apart from that i don't have any other issues with current organization so the next question would be may i contact your present employer for any other references yes of course sure i can provide you all required references and details the next question would be what is your current ctc and what is the expected ctc right now i am getting 10 lakhs i am expecting 30 percentage hike on my current package the next question would be what is your notice period is that negotiable to join early as per the company policy we have a three months notice period but i can join within a two months so i can join within a two months the next question would be what do you know about us and what do you know about the company the before applying this position i have gone through your organization profile to understand the history of this organization how it is doing the business and i also gone through how how you people are doing the business and uh, and I came to know that this organization is providing a lot of opportunities to both freshers and experienced guys. So, and also gone through how that, like how the latest technologies are being used for both product and services. And so I'm quite interesting about this organization and I'm looking forward to start my career from this organization. The next question would be, would you like to ask anything or do you have any questions for me yes i would like to know a few things about like are there any additional benefits apart from my regular salary and are there any like joining bonus if i start little early and uh, are company providing any transportation facilities to the employees are there any on-site opportunities okay yeah thank you very much so these are very commonly regularly asked 30 hr interview questions for um, uh, experienced guys in general the hr process would be the mode of interview would be personal interview the maximum uh, 99 percent at, at one percentage the people hr guys would call as a telephonic interview the duration of any hr interview would be 30 to 45 minutes and uh, hr would ask uh, 10 to uh, 15 questions maximum the HR guys like um, the HR questions are categorized broadly uh, in below areas like uh, they'll check our educational qualification, uh, job and work experience, challenges in previous uh, job, lessons, uh, how, uh, what kind of lessons we learned in the previous jobs, uh, checks for our soft skills, check for our behavioral skills, how we are good at emotional and strengths and weaknesses attitude ambition flexibility commitment how we are good at demonstration skills how good at qualities dedication and honesty and they also checks our how we are good at social responsibilities how we good at short term and long term goals uh, what is our strategies for long term and short term how we can handle the stress and what are the reasons for live and what is expected packages these are the very common uh, categories um, HR or in all HR coaches are categorized uh, under this either one of this category and we also need to have some expectation before attending the interview and we can ask HR like um, what is organization culture growth focus and branches and uh, who are the clients and users what kind of domains what are the projects are handling right now 
what are the technologies they are doing what are the services they are providing any international assignment or travel plans what kind of roles and responsibilities how this organization helps to our personal growth or professional growth uh, what appraisal policies and timings and salary packages spikes and benefits uh, and how can we sell out like um, so by all these like uh, we need to think like uh, how we can sell out the best prices to the organization so while giving answers to hr questions so we need to keep um, some certain things in our brain like uh, all our answers should be very short and sweet the conversation should be very polite and positive manner and ask the interview hr guys like uh, if you are not cleared any information ask uh, twice they'll not um, uh, bother about, about anything they'll uh, they'll uh, ask you the same question again and uh, bring forward the interview like every moment to the next level don't drop uh, at, a, at any time at emotional level and uh, please showcase your technical skills as much as possible and don't allow any kind of emotions like stress scare and uh, tension uh, be cool and be smile and be strong during the interview and try to give best impression as we are the right person for this position and we try to give um, uh, like we would try to sell our knowledge at the best price uh, don't get any kind of tensions we have knowledge and so we are going for the interview uh, the companies definitely require right candidate at the same time we also need the right organization to start up our um, new career or new uh, personal life or professional life so in this video i covered a uh, very advanced and uh, uh, experience uh, commonly asked interview questions if you would like any basic level uh, general interview questions i have video one is specially dedicated for basic level general interview questions uh, the questions would be like uh, do you get angry if so how do you come out the normal and uh, some situations like fire what uh, you will do and what will you do if you are offered a job with salary higher than this one what is the more important to you money or success or job satisfaction uh, would you like for the company how long can you commit to this uh, job or explain how would you be asset for this organization and why should i hire you what is the difference between the hard work and smart work apart from that uh, there uh, there are another uh, uh, regularly generally asked questions also i covered in the video one and uh, definitely those uh, questions and answers also very important even for experienced guys also please don't miss the video one as well you please go through if you are not already uh, seen the video one please go through video one and video two these two videos would help definitely to build a new career uh, in professional level uh, all the best uh, thank you very much and uh, if you like this video please share and subscribe to my youtube channel you would get the latest updates and the latest videos from this channel thank you very much